is Professor Benilia Randall. I'm here representing the Dayton Africana Elders Council. I'm so angry that it is hard for me even to pull together. At 5.30 this morning, I was arguing with my sister, not arguing, talking to her about how angry I am with this game called the Dayton Public School Board. Okay, you're gonna call people a gang, call yourself a gang. Because what you have done is ganged up on the students and parents of this community knowing that police misact on our community. You know it. This is nothing new to you. Dr. Walker, Dr. Roundtree, Mr. Lacey, you've been on the board 10 years. Adil, I'm sorry. I can't say your last name right, so I'm not going to mess it up. You've only been two years, but you know you're from an immigrant community. You know what happens to an immigrant community. Ms. Taylor, you, we've talked about what happens to poor whites. You all know and why in the hell you would vote in police is beyond me. It is beyond me. I don't understand. I will never understand. I'm talking as a parent of 44-year-old men, a grandparent of five-year-old grandchildren, black boys who will not be able to walk down the street in Oakwood where we lived without being stopped by police. My, ch my children were stopped so many times by police in a white community for walking home that we had to put on my lawyer suit and go talk to the police chief and say, look, no matter how you treat the rest of the black people, we're yours. We live in this community. Don't be stopping him anymore. You are, this is a accident waiting to happen. That's all it is. And one of these days, you may not be on the board when it happened, but it will happen. You need to take that back. There are other things you all can do, and you should do them. Thank you, Professor I just Randall. want to say one more thing. I had to get my breath, because I am very angry. And, and, and what I want to say is, what is the point of an elected board? If you are not going to represent the interests of our community, we might as well have an appointed board. Might as well. You're not here to support the superintendent. That is not your job. Your job is to represent the community and their interests. And if the superintendent is doing that well, he or she, then you support them. And if they're not, then you don't. Thank you, Professor Rundle. And No, I'm not through. I turned uh, out, I haven't been here in a long time because of a lot of issues, but I if understand. I had been told that it was only one minute, I might not have come. I'd have just sent a little one-minute videotape. The last thing I want to say is that I spoke recently before the UN Working Group of Experts on People of African Descent here in the United States. And their initial report, which they're going to come out in final in September, calls to question the human rights violation of having police in school. Thank you, Professor Randall. So you need to stop and think about that. It, I know you well want to move on, and I know I should stop, but I'm. But you know you need to hear this. You don't invite people you, out and, and then and think that they can say what they got to say in one or two minutes. You know, it just ain't gonna happen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Professor Randall.